I've had a bit of a week, all right? I've had a bit Who's of a there? week, right? The kids again. Don't, let, <laughs> don't. All of them are ill. Yeah, all of them. D and V. I all 27 the, of them. All 27 of them, right? <laughs> oh. right. Hey, Nori, you all right, mate? Hello. Hello, hello, sir. Hey, Nori. Just, Nori. Right, I'm just moaning about my kids, right? So all of them ill. I was ill. Saturday evening after your, your great victory, luckily I didn't uh, get too, too wasted because I came back to a sick household. So I told the gentleman on Monday during the game, Okay, and this is what I got back when I told the gentleman that I've gone home sick from work with I was ill as well. I got this. Oh, Chris Lovrick, he shit where he wants. Well, I don't know if you heard that, right? I shit where I want, apparently. Yes, there was no love. There was no love given to me there by the boys at, uh, of Hastings. So, um, anyway. Did, did you expect anything more? Mm. No, not really. <laughs> As I as I said before, there's um, Gary and the boys getting how many clean sheets in the last ten games? Chris has had none in the last <laughs> ten days. John, why are you hiding behind that fence? <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm going to make a run for it in a minute. <laughs> have you had a Have you had a fight with some hair clippers? <laughs> yeah, I'm no longer hair flick now. Thank you, Chris. Was it all the jokes? Finally got to you. No, it's a lack of hair, mainly. Uh, <laughs> that must be what that is, then. You're in a shearing pen. Ch chubby <laughs> yeah. Bruce Willis now, aren't you? I think Laverick needs to go through a sheep dip. Oh, don't. Let alone a shearing <laughs> pen. <laughs> it, looks, it looks like someone lurking outside a sixth form girls' college behind there. <laughs> you know, yes. <laughs> right. Uh, we we, we actually that. we oh. do have two of our top players here today, and we're... But, well, particularly I'm spouting shit. Uh, we've got TC, Tom Charles, we've got Nori Scott here. Thank you for coming on, gentlemen. No problem. Yeah. yeah, I got Norway on it. He wouldn't have come on otherwise. No, no. <laughs> you needed to twist his arm. No, I was nervous. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be nervous around us, Nori. <laughs> I'm right now. Oh, yeah, good. be nervous around Chris. He's all... <laughs> You're he'll, the one hanging um, around the school, mate. He'll fiddle with your words and you, it make you out to be something you're not. No. He's done it to me. He's, he's ruined my life. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that why you're living in a secure unit now? Where, where are you living, John? Yeah. I'm in a shed. <laughs> not surprised after that operation you had this morning. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I almost missed tonight. <laughs> I wonder you've had it shaved. <laughs> they shaved the wrong end. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Jesus Thanks, Christ, we we've started off worse than we've ever done here. Sorry, TC. Sorry, Nori. Nori, um, thanks for coming on. Saying a big hello quickly to Malcolm, Matt, Windy, Leon, Sir Andy, John Wills in the nursing home, and Ian, as well as Nori and Tom. Thanks for coming on, boys. You're champions. Um, Let's talk about Saturday, first of all. Obviously, wonderful moment where you raised the trophy. It's actually quite professionally done. It's a great um, celebration. I mean, it, it was great. Uh, any words on that, boys? Um, it was just a great experience. Never experienced anything like that. It was, it was fun. Like, at the end, when all the fans came on, it was nice speaking to everyone. So I had a great time. Yeah, it was very professional as well. Like, obviously, I was a lot I was worried about not winning. Because mm. if we did win, even though the league was already won, like VCD on a bad side and losing it, it would just kind of ruin the day a little bit. But we've done all right yeah. and they're not a bad side, so it was, it was good that we won. I don't think, I thought it was a, a great performance. Obviously, that was, was the 3 0, wasn't it? 2 0 was uh, yeah. on Monday. Um, and what about Kenny's goal? That was a nice oh. little touch at the end, wasn't it? What a goal. What yeah, a that was touch. unreal. That was unreal. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll hear about that next. Next game, next couple of weeks. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that, I mean, he's he's got that on Twitter. He's got it all going on with that one. Yeah. Who, who is he actually crossing to? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. Oh. <laughs> His dad. <laughs> oh, what a goal. What a goal. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, like, I've obviously, you know, the, the, the league had already been wrapped up. I mean, I know you were saying, Tom, you were worried about, I mean, losing. I mean, I don't think you, you, you lads would have lost to them. I mean, you've been so, I mean, I know it's semi-professional, but you've been so professional just getting those results, no matter if the, if the, the performances have been mm-hmm. iffy or whatever, you've always managed to do the basics really well. I mean, let's go actually, Tom, like your season, like being moved to like that right back position. Yeah. I mean, Christ, you, I mean, it's been like so many times people have been jumping up and down like, Jesus, is just gliding past people. And then obviously you've got Nori on that side as well. Like you two, like obviously have a uh, a, a great relationship in terms of yeah. football. Like it's just, well, it's a joy to watch. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. It makes my life easier. Tom yeah. Does. Yeah. You, you actually listen to me as well. It helps. When I, talk- <laughs> <laughs> I played. I played everywhere this year. And I've, I've never liked that before in my life. So it's, it's, at the start I was a bit, I wasn't sure about it. But I suppose when you play well, it's always it's different. If I had a bad game, I was thinking, oh, I hate like that. But mm. it's always, if you have a good game, you, you love it. So it does help when you play well. I mean, do, do you think, like, like, say, for instance, next season, yeah, if you, if, you know, obviously, if you, you know, you stay, I'm sure, you, you know, you might have a few offers here and there, but we, we all know that you're going to stay because, you, you know, you're going to take us up to the, to the next league. What, um, would you, are you going to have a little arm wrestle with Gary about, uh, you know, I wouldn't mind playing somewhere else. I mean, are you, ha- are you happy with the role? I mean, are you enjoying it? I mean, I know you, I mean, mostly I've, I've seen you had fantastic performances there. So. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not, yeah, I, I do enjoy it. Like I'm, I wouldn't go in there and say, oh, I'm, I'm not playing right back. And like, cause I've, I've enjoyed playing right back. Even, even a it was nil nil and I wouldn't have put forward as much. I still enjoyed it, but I don't mind playing right back because I don't mind the defending side of it. Like one v one, I'm not I'm not a bad one v one defender. That's why I was put in the first place. But yeah, it's when like playing left. I played there the other day, and I left wing again. Mm. And it's, it's just different. You get more excited when you're up there. You get the ball and you can go. And in my head, it's always been since I was a kid, just go run, 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 get forward. But yeah, right. It's, it's similar to right back because I still I still do that, don't I? Especially with Noy, I can play the ball to Noy and then go and help him. Just yeah, no, I'm just it's just... about the learning, though, TC, isn't it? You know, the learning of the defensive side of it. Yeah. When the ball's on the opposite side of the field and things like that, you know. Yeah. It's, uh, I feel like with Gaz learning as well. With Gaz, he helps a lot, and definitely Finn, because obviously yeah. played, played next to Finn last <laughs> twenty odd games, and then he talks really helps me out. Even at training, different bits like that. Yeah, yeah. But now moving on to Nori, like early early season, obviously Nori, like you, you were, you were coming back into the team, like you're playing mostly twenty threes games and that. Yeah, but um, that whole period that was was kind of tough for me. I wasn't injured. Um, had a few meetings with Aggie, and he just basically said, he said you're good enough, but he said in a nice way. Whereas I knew he didn't have me in his plans. So it was tough. And then when Gaz took over um, Burgess Hill, I just thought, this is my one chance to get back in the team. And I tried my best and played well that game. So Mm. I thought it was. But I hadn't played for the first team since Beckenham. And that was only 20 minutes. Mm. So, yeah, it's quite tough for the whole first half of the year. Beckenham, you come on as a sub, yeah? Towards yeah. the end of the game, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Um, sorry, I'm I'm duality. <laughs> the right. the um, but yeah, I mean, obviously, like you've, you've been tearing it up, and I'm, I mean, I've heard from other people that go to the 23s games that you're ridiculously good for them. Yeah, I mean, it's it's great that that form has now moved into the first team, where when you've been playing, you know, you've been all over them, which is yeah, which um, is great. I don't even know what to say. Um, when I was playing 23s, um, like, it's a good level, but I knew in my head that I wanted to play higher. Mm. So when I wasn't playing first team, it was it was quite frustrating. Like, there was times where I was like, do I stay? 
because ultimately, ultimately, I I just want to play football, but I wasn't playing football at in first team level. So I was thinking, do I stay? Do I leave? But I'm glad I stayed because it all worked out in the end. I'm loving football again. So yeah, that's good. Great. That's good to hear. Your confidence levels, mate, over the season just just went from here up. Yeah, um, that's what it was. You can One see time. it, you know. As yeah. you got better, the team got better, and with Tom alongside you as well, it just that side is so strong. On that yeah. along that side of on the right hand side, just made a big difference, mate. Seriously. Yeah. And I, I suppose I suppose Nori, you the position the position you play is you've got to make things happen to some degree, and confidence isn't a thing you can switch switch on is it and the more you you feel if you feel your confidence is down it it makes you more reluctant to to do those tricks to really take the game to people and to and so that it's it's great to see that you've come that players all, all players go through that downs and highs and lows yeah. with the with the confidence but in the position you play it's even more the spotlight's on you, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it definitely is. But confidence is what it really came down to. Like, I just didn't have as much confidence as I do now. But now, like, even when I was at my lowest, older boys, like, the main reason I decided that I'd want to stay because everyone's always given encouragement. It's nothing yeah. like anything personal. So that's what really helped me, just everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. good. As it should I think be. Chris, sorry, Chris, didn't we? I don't know why we did go over to that Burgess Hill game, but we did, didn't we? In, in, in Adam's car. Yeah. And we really noticed it, Nori, that evening that it 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 yeah. felt like a bit of a free hit of a game. And the two things I took away from that game were you on that on that wing and Jack Bates. That was the first time I think I might have seen Jack play for the under under twenty threes, but. But you and Jack were outstanding in that mm. game, and it, and it really, really noticed. So it was quite a tight game in the end, wasn't it? Yeah. And, it was uh, but did you did it? Did you just go in? So, like you said, you just went into it and thought, "This is I've got to do something here," because Gary had shown confidence in you. Yeah, that, and I just knew that if if I didn't play well that game, then it would probably be done for me because new manager. He hadn't Gary hadn't really seen me play because mm -hmm. obviously I was playing twenty threes. He just seen me train, so I just thought, whatever happens, go out there and give it your best and do what you normally do. So yeah. I didn't have any like fear or anything. I just went into it thinking it's all or nothing. Just be yourself. It was good because we we went. It was just a Sussex Cup game, but it was a and like I said, we wouldn't. I, I wouldn't normally go, but it was a really competitive game as well, wasn't it? And it, so it all worked out. All worked out really well. That yeah, was a, would... yeah, nice evening. That yeah, it was a good evening for me as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, boys. Any other boys, chaps, want to say anything? I think all, all, all I'd say. I love I love watching skillful players, but but I also more than anything I love watching skillful players who were prepared to work really hard for the team and I think both of you have, have worked so hard for the team this season as well as giving us kind of creative input and I think that's that's fantastic and I really I really applaud that for both of you really it's quite easy to look fancy uh, on the pitch well say it's easy I, I can't do it <laughs> but you know <laughs> but you know there are players who who can do the tricks but don't put the work in and you both Ooh. put massive amounts of work in and that's fantastic to see no definitely especially when I go forward I'm, I come back and noise always there behind me so it does help yeah I just think that's because we're all so close like if I see Tom out of position then I know I have to get in position to help him but I just think it's the team camaraderie. We're all so close. We just want to work for each other. Some of, some of your defensive stuff as well, Nori. You know, you're not all about going forward. You can see that, you know, like you say, when Tom's stuck up front sometimes because he's got, you know, stranded out on the right, you're dropping back. That Sometimes that wasn't happening mm, at the beginning yeah. of the season. It's a big difference. And I think it's little things like that. You might have got us the odd point here and there as well. Mm. And, yeah. yeah, hats off to you, mate. So, so Nori, yes. Nori, yes. no, no, Nori, so... 
what you're saying is is that Tom's out of position all the time and you're covering yeah. for him, yeah? yeah. Oh, I'm not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely yeah. not. It's, no, it's nice no, to no, see. No. I think when it comes to the end of the season and you're trying to look for who would you vote, who's a standout player to vote for as player of the season, and it shows what an incredible <laughs> side this is, is that you just, I just can't do it. No, there's too many. there's yeah. so many games all about the pitch. It's it's a real team performance. And I think that shows with with Tom really graft in a way in that in that role that he's been given for the team as well as for his, his own development. But I, I think and it gives it gives us a extra string to the bow as a, a side to have someone with his attacking flair going forward in a kind of wing back role. And and it's the same. It's the same with Nori. You know, you can see everyone's playing for the team. There's no, there's no glory hunters there. Exactly. And I, I wanted to ask Nori as well about. It's it's great for us to have a international yeah. player <laughs> playing for us. Uh, how? What's your your best moment playing for your country for Bermuda? Um, my best moment is probably my first goal last summer. Even though we won like seven 0 but that's my best moment. Who was, who was that against Norway? Um, it was against Aruba, just another oh, yeah, island. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. No one's special. That's so it's, it's all special, mate. You don't have internationals playing for Hastings very often. I'm not going to show you. Yeah. I can only think of one other one full international, and I think that was back in the sixties. So. Oh wow. Bobby Smith for uh, he was ex Spurs. He came to Hastings. He was England as well. But there you go, mate. I don't think there's been many more. Might have been a few under 18s and stuff like that for other countries, but yeah, well, we're getting we are actually we're I mean, getting there now. We yeah. have got an England captain in the on the yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. England colleges I, captain, eh? And you got Alfie Peacock and Freddie Leg down with yeah. the, the but, full, but full internationals. This is what I'm on about. Yeah. That's yeah. it. It doesn't matter. It Bermuda, it doesn't matter. Talking, no, of, no, which, no. talking of which, Sean Go to or Clyde Best. <laughs> um. I'd say Clyde Best just because I know him better personally. Yeah, he's one of my heroes from back in the seventies, mate. Good yeah. to see him. I'm I'm old enough to have seen him play as well, John. <laughs> would you believe? That's well, of course, of course, we would believe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, clearly, I'm old enough to have seen him play. Yeah, yeah. that's better. <laughs> yeah. But no, I mean, feed the goat and he will score, surely. That's that, it. Surely, surely. Sure. What a lovely bloke and a fantastic, absolutely Manchester City legend, that bloke. Exactly, there you go. Yeah. At, at, at the risk of sounding a bit UKIP, um, Nori, how did you end up sort of over, um, coming over here? And uh, how did you end up at Hastings? You were at Kidderminster before, weren't you? Yeah. Um, I originally, well, I moved from Bermuda since I was 14 but I came to England at 15 I think and I went to Beads and I went I met up with Aggie actually somewhere he saw me play Beads over Eastbourne yeah oh okay he saw me play and I ended up going to Eastbourne Bar when he was there and then when he came to Hastings the first time I was in the academy actually so before I went to Kidderminster I was actually at Hastings and then I came back all right. But I was really young. Yeah, yeah 15, blimey. Well, how old are you yeah. now anyway? You're about 24, aren't you? No, 22. 22. Yeah, so you learn, yeah, Wikipedia says you were born on the 6th of June or the 20th of June. You've got a Wikipedia January. page. Hey, yeah. big time, yeah. mate. Big time, Wikipedia. So which one is it? 20th of January or 6th of June? 6th of June. Yeah, go. One of them's wrong then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that makes you a bit younger then. Yeah. <laughs> Right, and quickly, let's move on to Lansing, right? I wasn't there. I was at work, and then I was on the Trotskys. Uh, who went who Before went you went Lansing, could, we, could John, John and I just lodge a complaint about your, <laughs> your lot's invasion of the main stand on Saturday? Oh, and the, come on. And the <laughs> let's block in, in our view. <laughs> inappropriate chanting. Get out of it. So I just think that needs to needs to go on record and the Ferrari that it caused as they um Malcolm spilled his champagne. Yep. 
I don't know whether I don't know whether you you, I, you probably Tom and um, Nori probably probably heard heard them that the um, that all the lads from behind the goal came and uh, came and joined us up in the main stand for the presentation to um, create Billy Wood's atmosphere for him. So it caused them caused quite a stir when they arrived. That's how did said. how did they get in? How did you let them in? Because don't you have to have that incontinence type in badge that sort of helps you to walk in or a special lanyard. <laughs> they, yes. they, just Chaps, stormed, they just stormed for steward. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they did. They rushed in. And sorry, then. lads. Sorry, lads. Just so you know, right? What well, the, the 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 joke is that everyone in the main stands about hundred years old, and they've all got colostomy bags and all that. That's the joke. Yeah. So they, yeah. That's what we're going on about. Uh, your kid, your kid, kids all got food poisoning from the prawn sandwiches you nicked from the main stand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't they? Don't. Anyway, right. Yeah. No, that was a lovely celebration. Was, like, was a good like, celebration. Yeah. Yeah, I published the picture on Twitter, and it was the closest I've ever come to causing a Twitter storm for the, all the stick they got off their mates for being pictured in the main stand. So, like a bit of getting over, wasn't it? Yeah, it's the, the gentrification, mate. Gentrification. Yeah, great view from up there, though. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, yeah. The thing, that's the thing I say. If you've got a team that's playing as well as our lot are, then um, you want a good view of it. That's my take on it. You yeah. don't get that from behind the goal. You you know you don't see the tactical side of it, and and you, you know you you see very little of how brilliant this defence is. We've got mm. you know I was I was looking at it in the past thirteen games. We've conceded five goals in thirteen games in the running. That's yeah. phenomenal, and that that's what wins you champions, doesn't it? I mean, wins you leagues absolutely outstanding the defense has been yeah. i'll put the i'll put the boys on the spot yeah what do they appreciate more you main stand wallers that you know uh, <laughs> or do you appreciate <laughs> the lads singing your names you can't ask on. That. come on i'll let tom answer that <laughs> politician i love it i've got to say the loud ones because my dad and my little brother and my uncle is in there so yeah. Off, well, he's always got his top off or something like that, so I can't not say him. Well done, TC. I think <laughs> that's really good. The good thing about the club, there's such a diversity, isn't there? And we we've got we've got enough fans to have these kind of friendly rivalries um, amongst the supporters. But it, it's just it's just stunning looking around that pilot field. It's it's such a a great ground and so it's got such a buzz to it isn't there when you you see <laughs> it regularly loaded with over a thousand people or yeah. just about two thousand now it's going that way so and yeah. I, I i just always like to ask what what um <laughs> bonus is that for you players when you know you're not running out against with a crowd of 300 people at ashford uh no, it's, it's massive because I think at the start of the season, you. So, this is like my first proper real season, this one. Obviously, last year it would have been, but because of COVID, I think you, you start to get used to it a little bit, the fans. And then I think it was Lansing where we had 2K. And then you like you could tell there there was a lot more. But then when you play it, you forget a little bit. But I think the definitely the, like the best fans this year, what it has been, was uh, Ashford away. Yeah, and that, oh, that was yeah, great. Unbelievable. It's like the buzz I had after scoring then was better than better than sitting born. But yeah, it was definitely the best of the season. Yeah, we well, took that place know, over, didn't we? Yeah, nice. That, that was yeah. a beautiful goal you scored that day as well, Tom. I thought when you hit that, I just thought it's almost how is it possible to strike a ball better than that? I don't know how you felt about it. Just one of those ones that you thought. It was a it was a shot that felt like a Mike Tyson punch. Yeah, it, it, to be fair, it just felt good not to score my head because <laughs> I was beating the end. Yeah, it was a yeah, it was a beautiful strike that was. It just one of one of my moments of the season. Just something about that. You came and celebrated that literally face to face with us as well. So appreciate that. Yeah, <laughs> I was trying to get to my little brother, but he he kind of got stuck behind <laughs> <and> everyone. <laughs> Right, let's move on to Lansing. 
John was there. John, you went, didn't you? Yeah, I went there. I think yes. maybe TC and Nori went. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely were there, yes. It's, it's hard for me to remember what I did yesterday, but I'll have a go. It's Last... definitely a nursing home you're in now, mate. <laughs> Fucking hell. Last... <laughs> I think they had, did they have their biggest crowd? It was about three over 300 or one of their, nearly their biggest. But I think that's been the way, isn't it? The, when Hastings United play there they clubs tend to get their highest crowd um it was a busy performance i thought i it's nice to see that you know it's the end of the season it could be uh, deflating these matches but i know when gary was on last week he was saying about he's got records he wants to break he's got and maintain so so you could see that there was there was an intensity there about our play and we we seem to control the game right through the first half um and i think we scored our second on, on the just before half time didn't we and first one was ben pope and the second one was james hull's header so so it was it was a it was a good performance there was no doubt about what the results were going to be I appreciate the video, by the way, as well, John, of Ben's goal that you sent over, mate. Nice one. Yeah, yeah, it's good. All oh, right. How did um, Mapston play? He played all right, didn't he? Yeah, he's very good, Harvey. Yeah, like he did Harvey. all right. Yeah. He did all right. Yeah, he's you been playing well for the as well. That's good news. All these yeah, young yeah. players coming through, it's great. There's futures yeah. just looking bright. It's, a, it's bright, a great, having, having won the thing, it's a great opportunity to play around with a few things. Yeah, sort of. yeah, yeah. And one thing we talked about going back to the beginning of the season, one one thing we talked about was with um, people like Jack Dixon and Sam Adams and Kenny and those sort of players at one end of the scale. We we talked about how many of the new players and young players would break through this year, and it's been a it, that side of it, it's been a real. I mean, with the two lads that are on now and and the other youngsters, the under twenty threes. I mean, James. James as well, scoring, you know, beginning to score goals for the first team as well now. And yeah. that's been another it, it, it's a great success this year, isn't it? That we can see the next generation coming through. So that's been another nice aspect to the season for sure. Listen, Nora, I can't keep her off any longer, OK? Nora, your mum's coming in, OK? I'm apologise, but oh, I'm sorry, matey. <laughs> I'm trying yeah. to keep her off. She's... <laughs> <laughs> The mighty Kim is coming on. That's not going to go well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Kim. Oh, I'm going to be in so much trouble. Uh, no, you ain't. No, you ain't. Hello, Kim. Hi, how are you? Oh, uh, we're good. It's, it's, what time is it your, where you are? It is 4.31 in Bermuda right now. Uh, in the morning? No, in the afternoon. Oh, that's okay then, jeez. Yes, yes. Oh wow! So you um, could you you guys could just go ahead with the interview. I just like to see him participate in things like this. Oh, you're being monitored. <laughs> you're being monitored by your mum, mate. No, yeah. you got to watch your language now, mate. Yeah. He, he, he was effing and blinding Kim. I oh, couldn't tell him. I don't know. Did John, did John here. I just wanted to ask: Have you got any of those embarrassing? photos of Nori when he was younger that you could share. No. Um I have some good ones but I, you have to ask Nori. I think he has some so he can send them to you. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, oh it's great. Well, thanks for coming on Kim. Um yes. As, and, and Nori's not run off yet. That's great. Thank you. Thank you, Nori, for yes. staying. I was worried he was gonna go. No, I'm good. So yeah, Lansing, sorry. We're just talking about Lansing, Kim. Uh huh. I how can hear you, you. How did you play, Nori? Let's talk about Nori first. Come on. How did you play? What a question. <laughs> I, only played like, I only played like 20 minutes. I don't know, right? But I should have scored. But I'm, kind of, I'm not happy that I haven't scored a lot this season. But usually, when I don't score a lot in one season, the next season, I go on a mad run. So hopefully, mm -hmm. that continues and I score loads was next year. There was a couple of one-to-ones with the keeper, but the keeper did really well, I thought. Um, 
he got very close to you, didn't he? And sort of narrowed any angle. But I thought your your work down the right was tireless, and you yeah. link, linking up well there. Um, I wanted to talk about Lloyd Dawes as well a bit later, but maybe now is not the time, is it? What, Mr. Why? Chris, why? <laughs> why? No, I, I thought I really thought he had he looked good. You know, we know Lloyd's got so much potential, and he's he's been dogged by this shin splints or the the calf injury, which is a absolute nightmare. Um, but I just the most disappointing part of that I could you could tell how much he he wanted to come on and and um, for the team and and for the fans to to score and he had a couple of opportunities but his other approach work was was really good you know he could see the the quality we've got the potential quality we've got for next season there as we step up a league. Yeah. He's like a new signing if he gets if he gets oh, properly God, fit. Yeah. It's like a new signing, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. You know? What yeah. do you chaps think? The lads, obviously, Nori and Tom, you know, Lloyd does get not quite a few knocks and that, and it must have hit his confidence. I mean, do, do you think he can pull it off next season and get like a, a full season out <clears> of his body? Yeah, I don't think it messed up his confidence. I don't think stuff gets to his head easily, but yeah, he's a good player. And I'm pretty sure it'll be fine next year. No, you can see even in training different things like that that he's like he's a he's an unbelievable player. He's one of those players where you know where he's going, but he'll he'll go that way and get past you anyway. Like because he's strong, but he's still quick. Yeah, so he'll be really good for us next year if he can stay fit. Mm. He looks as if he's like managed well. If you got 20, 20 games out of him, uh, that's going to be twenty good games in there. Yeah. 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 Definitely. <clears throat> We're all being polite now because Kim's listening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't have to be polite. <laughs> listen to this podcast quite often. So you oh, I listen oh, yeah, to you of course guys. you do, yeah. Yes, I do. <laughs> My favorite listener from Bermuda. Yes, of course. So you could just continue the way you know me. <laughs> yeah, we got to be good every interviews. week you now. No, you don't. No, you don't. Because if you're good, it's not going to be excited. <laughs> so tell me, right? Because a little birdie, cheap, cheap in my ear, says apparently what you get up to, you, you what you say on Twitter annoys Nori. Is this what? What's, what is it you're saying on Twitter that's <laughs> upsetting Nori? <laughs> say that again. On t- apparently your Twitter, your 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 tweets upset. Uh-huh. Uh, rile up Nori. That, um, what is he? What, 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 what are you saying? What is it that's um, I he it's he, he has what I'm saying is I'm just a proud mom, but he's like, Mama, just go easy. So I guess he thinks moms shouldn't be tweeting on Twitter. <laughs> he Glad too- mine doesn't. <laughs> he said, I do too much. <laughs> he said, I tweet too much, but actually, I enjoy Twitter. What do, to, to explain it to Nori while we're on this chat, it's exciting for me because it's been away for so You're long. In a motorbike, are you? you? Yeah, so so for you guys to um, have the suggestions <laughs> tweeting the games, it's exciting. Like, oh, nice. It, it makes me feel like I'm a part of the game and I don't always get to see him play games. So it's just exciting for me because I just feel like I'm part of the excitement. So that's what it's about for me because I never get to see him play games because I work on Saturday. So even if he was at home, I wouldn't get to see him play a game if he's playing on Saturday. So it's just exciting for me to know that I could be a part of the excitement. But that's yeah. okay. I get, yeah, that's what it is for me, Nori. Okay, it's just that. <laughs> oh, Nori. <laughs> Kim, oh, Kim, Nori. <laughs> Kim, I just wanted to say, sorry about the motorbike noises, but Chris has had a house of illness. So. <laughs> but I, I, did, I did want to ask about, about Nori. How, how, is, how is it in Bermuda, how having an international footballer as a son, and what, how is that, what sort of feedback do you get from the other people? Um, I get good feedback. Um... 
he might, I don't know if he knows this, but if I say I'm um, Nori's mom, they're like, yes, I know Nori is a good player, but um, I try to go easy, as I've been told, just go easy. But no, I got good feedback as he, for him to be an international player. And yes. I have great joy putting out his successes on Twitter or any platform. Yeah, he gets, I get good feedback. It, it's good. And a lot of parents would approach me because I don't know if Nori has said that he's been going out of Bermuda since he was like 12, 13. So we have a lot of boys leaving Bermuda at an early age. And right. I got a lot of calls and I get, how did you do it? How did you let him go so early? So yeah. it's a, it, he doesn't know, but I do get a lot of calls questioning me, you know, because if they're that young, it's scary for parents to let their children venture out at a young age. Mm. So I get a lot of feedback in that aspect on how do you go about it? Um, how do you deal with it? But um, yeah, his, he, I don't know if he knows he's as popular as he is, but. Um, and I'm just, I'm just a proud mommy. <laughs> yeah. Well, Kim, has he got to bring, Kim, has he got to bring a lot of wasting shirts out there for you? Um, he said it's not no more. <laughs> oh, is that what he said? <laughs> oh, oh, no. No. Hang on. Um, <clears throat> probably in, he probably hasn't told you all that I'll be at the last game on Saturday. Oh, <laughs> he brilliant. probably didn't. Yeah, so I'll be there for the last game. So hopefully I can find a Hastings t-shirt. Oh, you'll be there for the game on Saturday? Yes. Well, is your camera switched off? Yes. You want me to switch it on? No, no, it's up to you. Uh, no, no, uh, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. I mean, I wish, I wish Chris would switch his off. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right, Chris. You keep yours on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that's what it's about for me. So I really appreciate having that platform that you guys put out so I could just feel like I'm a part of his um, games. And, you know, it's just a great platform. We'll have to have you on more often. So every time he has a bad no. game, you, you can tell No, him. no. <laughs> You'll be like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Kim, you, you right. keep tweeting. If anything, you don't yeah. tweet enough. I think we should see more from you. <laughs> no, no. Uh, no. <laughs> North, like, no, we'll no, keep an eye on no. you, don't, you, don't, you don't see Stoney complaining about his dad on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Stoney's older. Sure. So, uh, uh, <laughs> all right, then. So I'm glad I met you guys. So I'm going to let you get back to the interview and come off so you guys can have your um, chat in the way you normally do. And I will see you on Saturday. Yeah, no Listen, really. looking forward to see it. You on Kim. Saturday. Thank you for Saturday. coming on. In the main right. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for have, thank you for having me. Thank you for allowing me to be on Nori. my <laughs> choice. Okay. <laughs> All right, Dan. Nice see to see you. Okay. Yeah. Bye -bye. Okay. Bye. -bye. Okay. Bye. okay. I think the word "allow" was doing a bit of heavy lifting there, wasn't it? <laughs> John, you can't go around asking women to turn their cameras on. Yeah, no, there's an etiquette, no. you know. It's not no, no, that's I, just wrong. Sorry, I just because I because I had my camera off to start with, and I it's mainly ignorance of technology with yeah, me. Yeah, but, but you, you said it so fluently, like it's a habit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, only fans, isn't it? When you're on the tube, you know. <laughs> oh, dear. Sorry, Nori. I am sorry, mate. Yeah. She so bullied good. me. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Apparently, you're, member you're of right. TC's family we've got coming on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, your aunt was supposed to come on as well, Nori. No, Is it she Crystal. Yeah, she That's... knows that. Oh, something's happened. I. Well, hello. hello. You're right, John. Yeah, everything froze unless you <laughs> all went quiet on me. No. Nurse. Nurse. No, not again. It's a non nurse we go. moment for John. Oh I, think I, I just zoned out, maybe. Yeah. Did you, if you just ask the nurse for your medication, John. She does. She does. red button, John. Oh, dear. Uh, that oh, red dear. cord, you have to pull that if you feel funny. <laughs> 
Yeah. Anyway, where were we? Yeah, we <laughs> were on Lansing. Lansing. <laughs> we still on Lansing. Yeah. My good. TC, TC, talk to us about your game. Talk to us about your <clears throat> game, like they. Um, yeah, playing right back was a bit weird about Finn because obviously I was with Maplow, but I think I, I helped Maplow through the game, especially he, like, he played really well on Saturday. He's been doing really well at Eastbourne, so I knew that he, he'd carry it on because I've played with him since probably year five when I was playing with him. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, and I'm knowing he's a good player. So, yeah, it was good to play with him. But yeah, just should have scored more goals, really. Should have been six, seven, really. But yeah, we should, yeah, we've done all right. Yeah, fans were good again, so. Yeah. What do you reckon, guys? Well, obviously, we've got Kim coming as well. But like, do you reckon it's going to be a packed pilot field on Saturday? I, I hope so. I think because it's done now, a lot of people just, all the glory hunters, they won't come anymore, will they? So. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I think it'd be similar to um, last Saturday. Yeah, I think it'll still be good. Over two thousand. Yeah, yeah. My I'm bringing my nephews along, so I've got some main stand new recruits. Yeah, ho hopefully people will be thinking this is this is the last last game <laughs> before the close season as well. You know, so hopefully that is is kind of one you want to see, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. surely you're a, oh, you're a long time. time. You're a long time not watching it, aren't you? For two or three months, so. Mm. That's a weather forecast. Be... That weather forecast that helped on Saturday as well, yeah, didn't it? Yeah, it's it's always good to bring people out. And you know, only other teams in this league are sitting there going, "Oh, we're only going to get two thousand on Saturday." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, forecast. Yeah, forecast is good for Saturday. So, yeah. uh, good. Yeah. Uh, and don't if if we win, don't we get? Isn't that the record points? In this well, league, they've got that now. No, it's yeah, already it. done. Yeah, mm. yeah. The, the only thing we uh, can break now is um, we can't concede more than four goals, and then we break that record as well. They're a good side, Seven Oaks, aren't they? That's up, right up there in the form league. So they've won six on the bounce, didn't they? Yeah, now? they're a good side. Mm. And they've since got, they got the new manager, wasn't it? Yeah, they've still got Frankie Sawyer playing from as well. He used to be one of ours, didn't he? So yeah, we we want we want, we want to make yeah, sure we on. don't. No, we don't concede more than Hayward's Heath because I think their level on is it 31 goals they've conceded? Yes, so they've only scored 60 something, <laughs> but we, we're in our 80s. But so that they're the well, you're in your 80s, yeah, <laughs> that's complimentary. So they're so that room ain't complimentary, mate. You're paying top dollar the least and scored the most, and you know, all those things are, are important things, aren't they? And I think someone points per game was. I think we do need to win because there, when there were less teams in the league, uh, I forget who it was got got a big score. So I think a win makes us um, highest points per game. Mm -hmm. I could be talking a load of garbage, but could it, be, couldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> So what, Anyone know if there's a record on clean sheets over the season? No, I no, think this no. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gary was on about one last week, wasn't he? He said, I want the clean sheets record as well. So there must be, must be close to one, something yeah. floating around. Yeah. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's not anything floating around, Chris. <laughs> or, is your, or are the sheets clean? <laughs> No, they're not. Anyway, right. Oh, yeah, TC, Nori, just quickly. First of all, I'm going to ask you two questions. Who's winning the playoffs? TC, who's winning the playoffs? Anyone but Ashford, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've, we've got the best hole in the in the league, haven't we? Yes, we have. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Nori, yourself, what do you think? Ash. I'm stuck between Hayward Heath and Cray Valley, just based off when we played them. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, Cray can really Cray can really turn it on, can't they? They've got yeah. great skill in that midfield and going forward. And um, I, am I the only one? I kind of wouldn't mind if Ashford <laughs> went up, but only because of that rivalry and that what that game gives us. It's incredible, isn't it? Um, mm. To be to beat them in a league above, in the next league up, 
Nah. But uh, obviously, I'm in the minority. No, I, I, I agree. At the same time, John, Crocker, clubs around. No, for once in my life, John, I'm going to back you on that as well. So I agree. I I quite like the. I you know, I suppose because I dislike them is one of the reasons I quite like to see them up with us. If Any excuse? Yeah. What's your second team yeah. again, John? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. <laughs> well, if the travelling gets too much, they'll be my first. <laughs> <laughs> and just, a... just, just some news. There's a. Did you know there's a third hull who's doing well over at Bexhill Town? Mm. Ollie. Yes. Don't he, don't he play for the under-18s, under-23s? I think. I, I, I'm not sure. Oh, so he plays, I think he plays, uh, obviously... Windy, you'll know, but um, Johnny Wright manages yeah, them, doesn't he? I think, I think he's been playing for his team. Yeah. yeah. So th- this Ollie Holt, has he tipped over your bins as well? I don't know. <laughs> I know he, we, we, we had, I forget what it was. We went over, I went over to see, I think it was under 18, so TC might be able to help me out. Um, and he scored the, there was a penalty shootout for the trophy, and he, he scored the last penalty. Oli Hull did. I, I sort of know what you're talking about, but yeah, Oli Hull's actually, he's good as well. He, yeah, he's played a few first-team games for Bexhill. But yeah. yeah, he's more of a nightmare than Dan, probably. <laughs> <laughs> does does he wear Crocs as well? Oh, I was just going to say yeah. that. <laughs> is it what's the whole family wear? Right, 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 here he is. Yes, Nori. Right, so... White Crocs, they're brutal, mate. I'm sorry. Uh, I got a pair. I like them. They're comfortable. <laughs> uh, so com- could... Fuck right. comfort. <laughs> <laughs> no, Nori, what you're forgetting is that you're you're speaking before the ultimate fashion icons here on the panel. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. I yeah, this, like... is, this is this is not the place to come for fashion advice, nor it has. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard you get the one today. Letters are rare attire. <laughs> right, and are we are we done on Seven Oaks? We're beating Seven Oaks, aren't we? We're beating them easy. Yeah, yeah. Um, did did everyone know that um, earlier in the season, Chris and? Um, Gary is dead, uh, made an agreement that if we were champions on the last game in the 70th minute, they'd both streak across the pitch. Please don't. Please yeah. don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, Histed was going to wear a dress. This was the agreement. Histed was going to wear a dress and he backed down on that agreement. Oh, did he? he did. Yeah, but you shouldn't have asked him out for a date. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've got some serious competition there. Okay, he, he hasn't got one. He's got three or four, as as Mister Hiss did. Ah, what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> right, I was going to ask you a question, um, guy. Uh, the people that I really want to talk to here, TC and Nori. <laughs> right, yeah, I've asked you. About, I've asked you about the, the the playoffs. What are you doing for your breaks? So you got your breaks coming up. Are you straight off on holiday? Or you just chill in with family? What are you doing? I have a break. I'm straight back in with Bermuda just summer until June. So my break won't be until a couple of weeks before we come back for preseason. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, and I've got, I've got a few other. I've got a holiday with the boys going Magaluf in two weeks. So. Oh, carnage. <laughs> carnage. A nice little break. Because I, I didn't really have a preseason last year because... I was with Aggie and doing a lot of college stuff. So I haven't had a break in ages. So it'll be good to get away and then go on holiday with my missus as well. Keep her happy. You've got to keep the ladies happy. Hey, Nori, what, what, um, in Bermuda, I mean, talk it up. I mean, being there in general, it must be a, ma- a tremendous holiday anyway, isn't it? Yeah, it's a nice holiday. It's hot. It's beautiful. But for me, it's not really, well, it's a holiday because obviously I'm with family. I get mm. to relax for sometimes, but, don't know it's just it's just like home it's like when I come back home from football it's it just feels normal and plus I'll be playing football so not really I don't know how to is, explain is it that, really. is that for a, the international side or is that a yeah team have, for, uh, for the international have, side okay. yeah we have a training camp but like 
obviously on weekends I can go out on a boat, go to the beach. So that part's nice. But yeah, oh, nice. you fish. Did so your fish. mom let her go? Let you go on her motorbike? She no, I don't think it was her. Oh. In, Bermuda. <laughs> in Bermuda, everyone rides them, so someone was probably driving across her. Oh. I would be surprised if she was on a motorbike. I'd be worried, actually. Well, we heard it, mate. We heard I'd it. I'd be worried that she was <laughs> on that the she's got, in the middle she's of the night. Either that or she's got a job for delivery. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be well worried. So oh, when you join your training camp, Nori, do, do guys jet in from all over the world back to Bermuda for that? Or are many of them home-based? Or do you just all arrive from all over the world for the training um, camp? A few of them are home-based, <laughs> but... Mm, I'll say uh, like more than half of us are in England or somewhere else. So, yeah, we pretty much all just get flown in and then straight to training camp. Do you get to play against any over here? Is there any in our league? Or? Um, in our league, no. Um, there was one who used to be in our league. Do you remember John T. Smith from Lewis? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. he, him. But now... There's one above us who plays for Worthing. His name is Luke. But other than that, no one in our league. Okay. Must be, must be quite interesting when you all arrive back and sort of share your experiences of football all over Europe and that. That must be some quite interesting stories, I imagine. Yeah, it's because it's it's well like everyone's at a different level, a different league. So we got some who are in the championship, some are in League One. So you just share stories. It's quite yeah. good. And it's, yeah, and experience, yeah. I hope you turn up on day one with your medal proudly around your neck. <laughs> no, I got, I actually got Hastings, I got HU and then the date on my boots, so it'll be with me. Nice oh, one. nice one. Nice, nice one. one. Well, chaps, should we leave it at that? That was legendary, mate. Hmm. Well, I don't think Nori thinks I'm a legend. I think he wants to murder me. <laughs> no, I'm talking about his mum, not you. <laughs> Him. Uh, yeah um i'm trying to think if we got anything else we can discuss no i mean we we spoke playoffs last week didn't we who well we know who's in them but is anyone yeah. planning to go to any because there'd be some cracking games weren't there I'd... yeah depends yeah. on the dates have they got the dates for them yet they're usually the tuesday after the last game It'd be the first semi-final and then the final on the Saturday. And is it second against fifth? And uh, yeah, third against fourth. That's it. Yeah. <coughs> so you're hoping Ashford comes second, aren't you, John? <laughs> I'm hopefully got um a, like a round table like this with all with all of them, all four teams. Hopefully, and the finals normally played at the one yeah, that finished highest, isn't it? Uh, uh, well, I know it. it Oh, right. Uh, level slightly higher. Um, but the final year is normally at the the highest placed team that's in the final where they finished in the league. Yeah. They I play think it that's on right. There. I think if you finish second, you get the right to have all your games at home, don't you? Yeah. Right. And the, yeah, depending yeah, the on final the would be played there yeah. if you get through to the final. But yeah. Um, Are they still they still two legs then? The plot the semi-final still two legs? That's no, one leg, isn't it? Is it one leg now? Yeah, well, I think so. It used to be. Yeah, it was well, before, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, when we played Dover, we had, we went over there and then we beat them and then finished up at two in for the final. Because yeah. we, oh. we had two legs against Ashford, didn't we, recently? No, it was one. Wasn't it? No, it was yeah, near Ashford and then we lost at home, I think. All for the nursing home. Don't we don't need to worry about playoffs because those chaps <laughs> guaranteed that we went up as champions. Well, you started yes. it. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but you lot were waffling. <laughs> Thank you, Malcolm, Linda, that is Matt, uh, Wendy, John, Leon, the lovely Andy. Um, who's that gentleman that's in the nursing name? It's John Wills. Nori. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Nori. Please forgive <laughs> me. Uh, Ian, and obviously the mighty TC. Uh, thank you. And I will see you at the game. Uh, this Saturday final league match and um, I'm sure it's going to be a win yeah yep. yep. see you again guys